So today I want us to build a multi-tap delay setup that is perfect for creating textures and it's somewhat inspired by the Verbos multi-delay processor module. Also this technique I added to the tips and tricks PDF I keep on updating. If you're interested it's available on my Patreon together with the project file from this video and from other videos. And already you can see that we will use today the FX grid. Now, just like on the Verbos module, we will set up eight taps, right? We have here eight taps. So in the grid, we will use the long delay module. Now, already this is a bit different than the Verbos module because here we can have it synced. And later on, you will see that we can create rhythms like this. But of course, you can experiment um, with using this setup without syncing the delays. Now, for now, I will use or I will change this one to 1 16th note, right? And I will connect the audio through it, right? So the audio I have here, the phase 4 synthesizer, right? It will go through the FX grid. I'm just closing this so we have more space here. This also we don't need, right? So now I connected the audio through it. And now if we have a look here again, we have here a mix control that we can blend the this delay right so if i take this somewhere here i can play right and we get the delay right just like this now again we want eight taps so we need eight of these uh, delays i will first disconnect the cables if you know of a way um, to duplicate modules without the cables connected let me know in the comments but for now i will have two four eight taps so we have eight delays for the eight taps and now instead of using a mixer the mixer here is only six channels we will basically use just eight audio modules right so two then we have four and then we have eight right one dedicated for each tap and now let's start with the connections so again the audio will go in to the first delay or to the first step then this will go to the output also all of the other taps will go to their respective outputs and this will basically just sum the audio right it will just mix everything into one stream of audio but now we will also cascade the delays right so the first delay will go to the second one the second one to the third and so on right and so forth so each delay will be delayed by the time of the delay before it right just like this and now we have eight taps so again i can play this right and we have eight taps of delay now on the verbus module we can also control the volume of each taps this is these are the faders here and i would like to take this even further and also add panning control to each tap so in between for each of the taps i will add the mixer module right so we have level control and we have also panning and i will just quickly add this for each of the taps Right, so now, for example, we can have the taps fade in in volume. So the last one will stay, let's say, at 0 dB. But now the one before it will be minus or negative 1.5 and then negative 3 and then negative 4.5 and so on and so forth. Right, so now we have this. Right, we have the dry signal first and then the delays will uh, slowly fade in. And again, we can also pan them. So for example, the second and the third can be hard left, hard right. Then let's say two in the center or just a bit maybe. And then another two also just a bit. And now we have this. And now let's add also feedback control. This is also something that's not available on the Verbus module, but we can add this here. So the original audio, the input, right, will go also first to a mixer. And then we will mix it back with the output from the last tap here, right? So this will go back into the mixer. And now here we have feedback control, right? So if I take this just a tiny bit down, have a listen. Right, now it will also fade out a bit. Right, 
Right, and now again, just like I mentioned before, we can also change the times here on the delays and get a sort of a rhythm. So let's say one, two, let's say one, three then. Right, and then let's say two, three, and then one and two, right? So now they will be delayed at different um, times and will create a sort of a rhythm. Right, and already we get a nice texture. I'm just playing this with the mouse, just a few notes and listen to everything what we get. Just imagine this with a more complex um, sound source or more complex uh, notes. Another thing we can do is we can process now also the feedback loop. So for example, just for fun, we can add a low pass filter here in the feedback loop. So every cycle it will be more and more uh, low passed. Right, I'm going to leave it at uh, 3000. Uh, Hertz, but just maybe make this a two pole filter and now I have a listen to this you know what another thing I will do I will take the feedback all the way up to zero so it will never fade out it will just continue looping but with each loop it will be more and more low passed so now listen to this Right, it will become more and more darker with time. But it, it will just continue looping. Right, so already we have a nice texture. Now on the Verbus module there are also dedicated feedback paths with once a pitch shifter and octave up and once a reverb so basically the the last step is going right to back feeding back into a pitch shifter or feeding back into a reverb now i couldn't find an easy way for adding pitch shifting and a reverb inside the patch itself inside the feedback loop there are ways, but they are way too complex. If you know of an easy way of using plugins inside the grid without splitting the stereo signal, modulating DC offset or anything like this, please let me know in the comments. But for now, I will just add these effects in the post effects here that we have here on the FX grid, right? We have post effects that I can add the pitch shifter, right? Take this an octave up, so it's 12 semitones. And now listen to this. We get another layer of this lovely, lovely texture. I can even add another one so we have another octave up, right? So two octaves up just for fun because we can. Right, listen to this. Again, it will just continue looping and will create a lovely, lovely texture. I will add also the reverb, I will add the convolution reverb. Right, listen to this. Right, now again, on the Verbos module, there are also dedicated outputs, delay tap outputs for each of the taps. Right, so we can process things also individually. So for example, I can send one of the taps Right, let's say this one here, I can send it through a phaser, let's say. Right, 100% mix, maybe a bit stereo here, maybe a different one. Right, so now just this step is going through a phaser. If I want, I can add this also in the feedback loop by connecting this through the phaser. For now, I don't want this, I just want this step to be affected, right? You can also send another one, let's say the last one, through a wave shaper, right? So let's go with a wave folder even. Right? It's just the last one, and don't forget the last one is getting all of the delays from before. 
or getting delayed by all of the delays from before, right? So that, now just this one is going through a wave folder and just this one is going through a phaser. Right now, again on the Verbus, we have also dedicated envelope followers for each of the tap. Uh, of the taps, right? So we can also use this to modulate things. All what you have to do is use a follower, right? The follower module and add this to the taps that we want to have effect over other parameters, right? So for example, I can use uh, this tap here and let's use another one. And um, let's use this one also, right? So I'm just connect this, connecting this to the mixer. And if we have a look here on the scope, right? You can see basically what we get. We get a modulation source. An envelope follower will follow the amplitude, the volume of a signal, and will output a signal or an envelope according to this, right? And I can change the response time and get something quite smooth, right? You can see we have a modulation source that is working according to the level of this step, right? They are delayed, they are out of phase, right? And now all we have to do is use a modulator out module so we can modulate things. For example, let me get rid of this, right? For example, we can modulate the pitch shifter here, right? So according to the levels, so I can take the second pitch shifter down and use this to modulate its mix. Let's listen to this. Have a look here. Right, so now only this step is affecting the pitch shifter. I can also use this to modulate the pre-delay here on the reverb. Maybe a good idea would, uh, would be to add here also a tool device before everything. Just to take the gain a bit down, you can see it's quite high here with the feedback and everything. So just take this slightly down. Write something like this. Listen to this lovely, lovely texture. The wave folder here is a bit too much, maybe. Just a bit. Right, so from a simple, relatively simple setup, and just playing in a few notes, we have a nice texture. And of course, you can experiment with this setup for hours and get all sorts of different uh, unique sounds out of it. Um, I have here a few more sounds uh, for um, context. I have here a kick drum. I have here some hi-hats. I have here a bass with a Euclidean rhythm. And I have here also a sort of an ARP with a polymer. So again, it's a pretty simple setup. It's quite interesting. You can use it for creating all sorts of textures and unique sounds. And that's it. Again, consider joining us on Patreon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.